continue this job because mm -hmm. I needed to work. And they were paying peace work. I was so many parts, you got extra money. And I got to count that money before I made it. So I said, well, <laughs> if I can get my wife to fix me some beans and give me some friend, I can continue this job. Mm -hmm. And I did. I hung in there. Elder Rodney. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Could we do what we enjoy him? Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Bless you, Lord. Enjoy yourself. Bless you, Mother. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Moses. How you doing? Good to see you. Yes, sir. Moses grew up in this church. Yes. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> Yeah, you're sitting on that front row up there. Yes, sir. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Amen. Give out a hand praise for our Sunday school teachers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate them. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Amen. All right. We are. Yeah, we are grateful. Definitely grateful for. Associate Pastor's dad and mom, Brian. Excellent <coughs> teachings of the word. Amen. As well as the humble examples they are to us. Amen. Thank God for them. We also appreciate our precious mother, hon, Elder Paula, Sister Tasha. Yes. All who participate yes. in our Sunday school. We are better together. Amen. We honor our pastor, Regina Tucker. Amen. And our bishop, Roy Tucker. Yes. All right, so today's lesson is the true vine. Mm -hmm. Amen. Our lesson text is John chapter 15, verses 1 through 17. And this part of our Sunday school is where we go through, I go through the scriptures of the lesson. Mm -hmm. So as is our custom here at Mother Tucker Ministries, I'm going to go back and review last week, recap last week's lesson in the spirit of diligence, right? Amen. Mm -hmm. So what was our lesson title last week? Resurrection, Resurrection and the life. The life. Woo! Mm -hmm. I got it. All right, so that was uh, John, St. John chapter 11. Uh... Verses 17 through 27. Yes. And this was the story of Lazarus, right? Mm -hmm. So our verse 17 of our lesson, of last week's lesson, uh, this, this lesson picks up in a town called Bethany. So it, it, it says, <coughs> then came who? Jesus. Jesus, Yeshua. Uh, when, when Yeshua came, he found... Uh, that he, now who is the he? That's Lazarus. Lazarus, right? He found that he had <laughs> been laid, laid in the grave, laying in the grave for how many days? Four days. Four. Four. Days. Four days. Four days. Now, I, I make the plain, I talk about names a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. The name Lazarus, that, that's the Greek name, the Hebrew name was Eliezer, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, it, you'll just see that all through the New Testament, the, the names are, are the, the, the Greek, the Hebrew names are different. These are Hebrew people, right? Mm -hmm. So verse 18, now Bethany was what unto Jerusalem? Nigh. Nigh, Nigh or not far, close, right, Amen. from Jerusalem. About how far away? 15. 15 furlongs, which is how long? Two miles. About two miles, as NIV uh, like I said, that's about from here to the warehouse market, quick trip over there. Yes. That's about right. Mm -hmm. um, and, the, and the book says that Bethany was actually two miles east of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So verse 19, who came to Mary and Martha? Jews. Many of the Jews <coughs> or Judeans. And, and I gave a reminder last week, I asked, what made a person a biblical Jew or a Judean? Anybody remember? What, 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 what you was, from, huh? Being from Judah. Oh, thank you, Judah. being from Judah, right. Living in the southern kingdom of Judah. 
northern kingdom was called Israel. This was yes. after the King Solomon had died, that Israel had split. Yes. So the northern kingdom kept the name Israel. Southern kingdom was called Judah. In the New Testament, they were called it was called Judea. Mm -hmm. And so the people living in <laughs> Judah, in the Old Testament, they were called Judahites. Mm -hmm. But the Bible, the King James Version calls them Jews. They're really Judahites. New, New Testament, they were called Judeans, but the word Jew is not really in there, so I always make that. Because it, Jew is, is, is just really complicated now, so I just try to go back to what the scripture says, and then we get some clear understanding from there, right? Yeah. Not what nobody makes it, what the scripture says. Mm -hmm. so, so when you see Jew in the Bible, it's not a race. It's, 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 it's nothing like that. It's people living, Israelites living in the southern kingdom oh, yeah. of Judea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Israelites living in it because nobody could become a Jew. No, nobody in the Bible ever became a Jew. So it wasn't about a convert. Mm -hmm. They never called a convert a Jew in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So this was Israelites living in the southern kingdom of Israel. Mm -hmm. okay. So that was the biblical Jew. Um, and the word Jew is translated from the word Jew, uh, Yehuda. You know, we talked about that last week. Mm -hmm. All right, so so when it says many of the Jews, talking about Judeans, people living in the southern kingdom of Israel. So they came to Mary and Martha. Why? Verse 19. Comfort them. Comfort them, Comfort them concerning their brother, right? Yes. This was Israelite culture. Yes. They had a culture to comfort people. We talked about that. Yes. Uh, they said with Jacob in the Old Testament, I think it was Genesis chapter 50, when Jacob passed away, uh, they, they, they mourned, I think it was 30 days for him. No, no, it was seven days for Jacob. But it was 30 days for Moses and Aaron. Mm -hmm. But, it, but it, mourning was a uh, 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 it was a it was a it was a process that was a part of their culture, right? mm -hmm. and I even mentioned Job. That's why Job's friends came around, even though they was they didn't really help him too much, but they came to comfort him. So yes. this was a part of the culture, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So many of the Jews, the Judeans, came to comfort Mary and Martha concerning their brother. Uh, verse twenty. Then who came as soon as they had heard that Yeshua was coming? Martha. 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 Uh, what did Mary? Do. Says still in the house. Says still in the house. I got a note here. Mary's name was Miriam. Mary was not her Hebrew name. Her name was Miriam. Miriam. Right? Verse 21. Martha told, I couldn't find Martha's name. They said it wasn't, they didn't know what Martha's Hebrew name was. Mm -hmm. Martha told Yeshua, Lord, my brother had not died if what? Been here. Thou hast been here. Verse 22. Martha continues saying, but I what? Yeah, no. I know. Right? She had no doubt. Martha said in verse 22, she had no doubt that even when now, right, even when now, she said, God will give to thee, God will give, give thee, God will give what to thee? Whatever, Whatever the sure asks. She was convinced. She had no doubt. Whatever he asked, Yes. It was done. Verse 23, Yeshua said to Martha, Thy brother shall what? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Verse 24, Then Martha replied unto Yeshua, saying, I know mm -hmm. that he shall rise again when? Resurrection. Resurrection the last day. Right? That's just the way a lot of us think. Of. But, but that's what she thought, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Verse 25, Yeshua said unto Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Woo. The word translated resurrection simply means to rise again. Right? So Yeshua uh, completed this thought to Martha, saying, I am also the life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And when he said I, he's talking about him, what he's doing, and his words. That's yes. what dad was saying. <laughs> and his words. Yes. You can't separate him from his word. Right? His word was the gospel of the kingdom. Yes. The message of the kingdom. Yes. Woo! Yes. Which is the mind of Christ. His word. Hallelujah. His life. Yes. Yes, sir. He said, I am the resurrection. Yes. And, and the 
Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. This word, well, we're going to talk about this word. Thank Lord, you. That is the gospel of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. The kingdom, it's a whole message, all right? Amen. Thank you. Zoe, life, right? Yes. I am the resurrection and the life, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Yeshua continues in verse 25 to Martha, saying that he does what? <coughs> he that does what? Believe. Believe. Believe in Believe. me. Believe. Which includes his words. Yeah. Come on. Though this man were what? Dead. Yet shall this man live. live. That word live comes from the word zoe, life. Zoe, life, right? Ever, he's talking about eternal life. Yeah. The life that never ends. Amen. The life that don't. Now, now I, 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 I always ask the question, when does our eternal life begin? I talk about this a lot, right? Mm -hmm. When does our eternal life begin? It don't begin on judgment day. It don't begin after we die. According to the scripture, our eternal life begins when? When we believe. When we believe. Amen. That's when it begins. Amen. There's no pie in the sky. The pie is believing. Believe. <laughs> right now, right? We have life when we believe. When we take God at his word, that you never die. Amen. Never you. Thank you. Your body may die, but you, you live forever, right? This Amen. is eternal life. Yes. Just believe, right? Thank you. God is so serious. Yeshua is so serious about what we believe. That's right. All right. Amen. Wish I could. <laughs> Yeshua, verse 26. Yeshua told Martha, uh, whosoever does what? Live it. Like I said, this limit is the eternal life. He's not, he's not just talking about breathing. He's talking about Zoe. He took this living, mm -hmm. eternal life. Yeah. Right? He said, um, uh, this, he said, whosoever liveth, where am I at? Verse 26. Mm -hmm. uh, shall never what? Mm -hmm. uh, whosoever never liveth and does what? Believe. And believeth in me. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Shall never die. Never die. No. Amen. Make that plain. And he asked her this all important question. Good question. Yeah, yeah. This is the question for all of us. Yes. Yeah. He asked her, but what did he ask her? Believe, believe, believe in all this? Do you believe? Because yeah. what you believe is powerful. Yeah. It don't even have to be true. Amen. <laughs> It's what you believe, though. Right. I got it. That's right. That's a powerful thing. Come on, man. So Jesus, Yeshua, wants us to believe Him. Yes. Once you yes. lock Him in, this is this is it. Yes. Yes. That's life. Yes. I'm done that question. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, go ahead. Now. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But sometimes that that is the question: is can you believe? Mm -hmm. Can you believe? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you, you know, you can't believe all things are possible. So the question is, can you believe? Can you believe? Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Thank you. Amen. And, 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 and that, that, is, that is just, if we can get to that place, that's, that's why the Bible says faith comes by hearing mm -hmm. and hearing by the word. Yes. We got to hear that thing over and 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 then let's do it again. Yes. <laughs> over and over and over. Yes. Um, I made a point last week, this is how powerful belief is. I made a point last week, there's a saying that says, um, it's easier to fool somebody than to convince them that they have been fooled. Mm. 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 Amen. That's, That's deep stuff. Mm. It's easier to just fool them than to convince them that they have been fooled. That's, right. That's how powerful it, wow. their belief is. Right? Wow. So God wants us to believe and take them at his word. Yeah. If it ain't in the book, scratch it out. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So he asked, he asked her, believeth thou this? Yes. What did she say, verse 27? She said what? Yes. Yea, yes. Lord. She said, I believe what? That thou art the Christ. The Christ. Christ. The who? The Son of God. Who should come <coughs> into this world. Mm -hmm. She said, I believe. Yes. That's a good place to start. Just believe. Yes. You ain't got to have everything together. Just believe. Yes. Ooh. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. So on to our lesson today. That was last week's lesson. Mm -hmm. Today's lesson is the true vine, uh, John chapter 15, verses 1 through 17. Yes. 
So first one of our lesson um, says, I am the what? True vine. True vine. True vine. Now who is talking? Jesus. Jesus Yeshua. Yes. All right, he's talking. I got a note that says when Yeshua, when Yeshua says I, again, this is referring to him mm -hmm. and also his word. Thank you. His words. <laughs> his words. And his words were also the gospel of the kingdom. Only thing that he preached. That's the only message that, that, that Jesus Yeshua preached was the gospel of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Okay. So he wants us to believe in him as the sacrificial lamb of God for the forgiveness of our sins mm -hmm. so we can be righteous, right? That's what our righteousness is. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Luke 6, 33 says, seek ye first, he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and yes. his righteousness. Yes. Righteousness is in the blood. Hallelujah. The kingdom is the word. Yes, yes. Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And his righteousness and all these things shall be added. Hallelujah. So we don't separate Yeshua from his word, the word of the gospel of the kingdom. Hallelujah. So Yeshua said, I, him and his words, am the true vine. Who is the husbandman or the father or the gardener? Father. 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 My father. The husbandman is a gardener, right? They're talking about a garden. And then this, I got wrote down. I can't help but to think about the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. Where speaking of the tree of life, which was in the midst. Mm -hmm. And God said, You can eat of that tree. And I think of Jesus Yeshua as that tree mm -hmm. of life. He yes. said, I am yes. the true vine. Yes. Amen. I yes. can't see the correlation there. Right? That's Amen. good. Amen. Tree of life. Hallelujah. Yes. Tree of life, right? Yes. Okay. Right. Amen. <clears throat> Verse 2 Yeshua said, He is the true vine. And what happens to every branch in him that bears no fruit? Right. Taking some away or cuts them off, as NIV reads, right? Mm -hmm. Cuts off. He cuts off branches that, that aren't <coughs> bearing fruit. Because mm -hmm. we're talking about a vine, so the branch is going to be small, not like a tree branch. But anyway, okay. say, Amen. he says, uh, what happens to every branch that bears fruit? It purges. He purges it or prunes it or trims it, right? Yeah. Why? That it may bring more wood. So he's not trimming it to kill it. He's purging it so that it may bring forth more fruit. And that word purge really comes from a word that means to cleanse, uh, to, to, to trim. But the word that's translated purge really means to cleanse in the sense of cutting off excess weight to purify, remove impurities. But the word really means to cleanse, right? Remember that. Remember that. So the word really means to cleanse. Uh, that it may bear forth more fruit. So God always wants us to bear what? More fruit. Right? Yeah. I wish I had time to elaborate, like uh, Elder Paula said, you know, fruits of the Spirit. Uh, they, they talked about it in the book. God, God wants us to bear fruit. People need to be able, like that. So people need to be able to pick. Yeah. Fruit. Paul, somebody said that. Pick, pick food off of us, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. This, this is what we are inspiring, aspire to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, uh, well, okay, so he wants us to bear fruit. And not just to bear fruit, God wants us to bear more fruit. Yes. Yeah. Increase. Yes. Like my grandmother, the late Dr. Mother Tucker, would always say, she would say, increase. This is some of the last last words that I remember before she left. Mm -hmm. She said, increase. She said, yes. if you're not increasing, you are decreasing. Yes, so we yes. purpose to increase. Yes, sir. We're not increasing, we are decreasing. We're not staying in one place. So we have a purpose to increase, right? Mm -hmm. Powerful word, powerful word. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so verse 3, Yeshua goes on to tell his disciples, uh, now ye are what? Clean. 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 Through what? Word. Now this word clean, <laughs> it is the root of the word to cleanse. Purge, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, he said, uh, he that beareth every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it. 
but he cleanses it. Then he goes on to say, now you are clean. Yes. Through what? The word that I have spoken to you. He said his word cleans us. Amen. The word of Yeshua, the message of the gospel, the news of the kingdom of God, is what cleanses us. Yeah. Referring to our minds, right? So this Amen. is what, just like this, Matthew 6, 33, 6, first kingdom of God and his righteousness, and his righteousness. The righteousness is the blood, uh -huh. but the blood cleanses our sins. Yes, but we got to we got to have our mind renewed. Yes. The message of the kingdom, Amen. right? The yeah, gospel man. of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. The mind renewing. All right. All right. Amen. All right. Mm -hmm. There is there is a wholeness there. I'm just so excited about that right there. Mm -hmm. All right. So Yeshua said, he said to his disciples, now you are clean or pure through his word mm -hmm. or the gospel of the kingdom. <clears throat> We're going to go into depth in the gospel of the king of the kingdom of God in the next book's quarter. Right there. The whole quarter about the kingdom of God. All right. All right. Yes. Verse 4, Yeshua said to abide where? In me. In me. And I where? In you. In you, meaning him and his words. Yeah, right? right now. Yeah. He said, he said, abide in him. Uh, he said, abide in him. Can a branch bear fruit if, if it's cut off of the vine? No. 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 It can't bear fruit of itself, right? No. Can't bear fruit. We can't bear fruit of ourselves. Come on, right? We have to stay connected to the body. Yes. And we need to stay connected to one another too. Come on. Yes. This just this is such a powerful thing. Yes. 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 We're, we're connected to the vine, yes. but we're connected to one another. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh man, that's a powerful thing. Yes. Yes. And you won't you won't really appreciate it until you really get in it and see it for yourself, mm -hmm. right? Amen. It's good. Amen. Ain't nobody perfect. Remember how you say when you find a perfect church, you're gonna mess it up when you get there. <laughs> 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 so ain't no perfect church, there ain't no perfect people. We're all working this thing out. Amen. 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 We work together in the spirit of unity in yes. order. Somebody say order. Order. In order. Right, no foolishness in order. Yes. In order, yes. right? In order, it's a beautiful thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay. So, uh, so he said we can't bear fruit of ourselves, not of ourselves. Yeshua said, "No more can you bear fruit except you abide where." In me. In me. In me. I've got to read the page. I've got to know to read something, but I just don't have to. Uh, verse, verse 5, Jesus Yeshua says, I am what? The vine. The vine. He, says to, he says to his disciples, he's talking to his disciples, uh -huh. you are what? Branches. Branches. The branch. <laughs> he said, he that abideth in me mm -hmm. and my words, kingdom of God, mm -hmm. right? And I and my words in him, mm -hmm. Yeshua said, the yeah. same does what? Bring Much fruit. fruit. Much fruit. Mm, mm, mm. Yeshua said, without him, we can do what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I'm going to skip to verse 7. Yeshua said, if ye abide or dwell where? Mm -hmm. In me. Right? And what about you? My words. My words. words. There you go again. <laughs> the words. That's a powerful thing. You know, words are life. This is yes. amazing. Uh, Matthew 4 23. And Matthew 9, 35, and a lot of them, I wish I had time, they actually says, Jesus said, he called uh, the gospel the gospel of the kingdom. The gospel was the gospel of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. right? It's not. Right. <coughs> he said, if ye abide in me, mm -hmm. and my words, the gospel abide in you, you, you can ask what? What you will. What you will. What you will. It's verse 7. Yeah. And shall it be done to you? Yes. 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 Verse 8. Yeshua said his father is glorified when we do what? Very nice mm -hmm. And so shall those who bear much fruit shall be my disciples. My disciples. Verse 9, Yeshua said, I have loved you as what? His father has loved me. As the Father has loved me, and he said to continue to be where? In my love. In my love. 
Now Yeshua defines being in his love, yeah. right? We, I often say, we don't have the privilege of defining what love is. Mm -hmm. God tells and shows us what his love truly is in the following verses. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, Jesus Yeshua said, ye shall abide in my love if you feel the spirit. He said, you shall abide in my love if you quote the scriptures. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you shall abide in my love if you keep my commandments. commandments. Doing something, right? Yeah. It's a challenge. We have to be, be a challenge to do things. Mm -hmm. God, I thank you. Jesus, Yeshua said, even as I has kept, kept what? My father's commandments. Now, what was his father's commandments? <laughs> it was the law. Oh. It was the law. Oh. This is the context of what he was saying in the, in the scriptures. That he was talking about the law. He, he said, I have kept my father's commandments. Now, I'm not up here talking about the law makes us righteous, nothing like that. What I'm talking about is the context of the scripture. Amen. 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 That's what he said. Amen. <laughs> because we've been taught a Gentile-centered gospel. Mm -hmm. But the Bible is Israel-centered. And I keep saying I am going to take. I keep saying that the Bible is Israel sent to us. Some people just don't. They think that Rodney is up here. Just, I'm just going to read this right quick. Romans chapter 11. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Not, not chapter 11. I think it's chapter 17. <coughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. <coughs> no, that's not it. Romans. Uh, Ten. Is it ten? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What are you looking for? Uh, where is that scripture that talks about uh, being grafted in? So ten, isn't it? Where is that scripture? I'm always quoting that. Fifteen. Fifteen. No, that's not it. I have to come back. I have to come back at another time. I can't read. I'm drawing a blank. Mm -hmm. I'm always quoting that scripture. Thank you. Okay. I should have wrote it down. Uh, but but the Bible is Israel centered, right? I can't believe I can't find that scripture. The scripture that talks about Romans, uh, the Gentiles being grafted in. Uh, he, he talks about an olive branch, a wild olive branch, and all of that stuff. Um, Romans eleven seventeen. Eleven. Let's see eleven seventeen. That's what I was thinking. It was eleven. Because I need twelve minutes. Romans eleven. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. And I'm just gonna read this right quick. First, I'm starting at verse thirteen because he's. This is read the whole whole chapter. He says, "For I speak to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, uh, I might magnify my office." Uh, verse sixteen: If the if the first fruits be holy, the lump is also holy. If the root be holy, so are the branches. Verse seventeen: And if some of the branches be broken off. The, the, the root is holy. It's talking about Israel. The, the, some of the branches be broken off, and thou be a wild olive tree. And he's talking to Gentiles. And we're grafted in among them, right? Among them, and with them partakers of the root and the fatness of the olive tree. Boast not thou in the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. So, so he's talking about Israel. He's talking to Gentiles. So he's basically saying, you are grafted into Israel, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> yeah, he's, ta he's talking about, I, I, we, 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 gotta, we got to stop. Time is short. But, but I always make this point. I always make this point. And when, when you go back and read the chapter, it makes sense. But I'm just making the point that, that the gospel is not Gentile-centered. Mm -hmm. But we hear a Gentile-centered gospel. But all through the Bible, the Gentiles were grafted in, but they were grafted into Israel. They were grafted into Israel. Everything is still about Israel. Mm -hmm. yeah, 
So do, do, do some reading on this chapter. So, but we hear a Gentile-centered gospel, and that's because of the, the Catholic Church, all that stuff. They, they just, it just kind of got watered down. So now we talk about the law. Uh, it's, 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 a different, it's different than what, what we read in the Scripture. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot, but <clears throat> I know I always say that I always say that I wanted to give scripture. Uh, I want to give scripture. To say that. All right, so <laughs> so he said, even if I love you in verse nine, so if the Father loved me, uh, he said uh, he said to continue in His love. Mm -hmm. Now he now Yeshua defines being in his love. We don't have the privilege of defining what love is. I'll talk about that, right? Mm -hmm. God shows us what love truly is. Uh, okay. So God so so he's so we're at where where he kept the father's commandments. What were the father's commandments? The law. This is the context of the Yeshua's sin. So I, I got again the blood, his blood makes us <laughs> makes us righteous. Right? The blood of Yeshua makes us righteous. But Jesus kept the law, and it was not bondage. That's the, that's what I was trying to explain. This is order, right? He was our example. Mm -hmm. Yes. Without rules, there's chaos. Without rules, it's crazy. There's no way to have order without rules. Mm -hmm. A lot of us don't want to be told what to do. Amen. That's right. Mm -hmm. But there is no order. Even in your house, you got rules. Amen. Yes. Yes. Okay, so he says. So, so Yeshua said he have kept his father's commandments and and abide where, in his love, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And and I know we hear the father's commandments was for him to die on the cross, and that is true. But in the context of what he was saying, he kept the law. Yes. He was the law. Amen. He was the law, but he kept the law. Amen. He spoke in Matthew five seventeen through eighteen. Amen. He made Amen. it clear. Amen. He made Amen. it crystal clear. Amen. Just, amen. Okay. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I, I'm just because even even the book was kind of kind of fuzzy on on what he was talking about. All right. So verse eleven, Yeshua said he spoke these things to his disciples that what might remain in them. Joy. Verse eleven. Joy. His joy. Right. Mm -hmm. He wasn't trying to put them down. This now this is amazing. <laughs> He said that that joy might be what? <coughs> oh, look complete. I wish I had time to read this. This is what happens when we do what we're what, what God tells us to do. We get joy. Yes. It's not bondage. It's not anything bad to do what you're told to do. Amen. The bondage is when we resist. My the Bible God. says that we might just tell me I might just quote the scripture in the way of a transcript is hard. hard. Amen. This is what makes it hard when we don't want to do it. All right, but so 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 this is love. Love has an order. This is why God gave laws and commandments for orders in our order is in our relationship with God and with people. Mm -hmm. He gave the laws and commandments for order in our relationship with God and with people. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Everybody can't have the every, God. God said everybody is not going to be on a different page about what love is. This is what love is. Mm -hmm. He gave everybody one book. Everybody's going to go by the same book. Right. So when people see you, they're going to know that you represent God. Right. Ain't going to be no confusion. So he gave everybody the same law. And if you do these things, they will know that you represent, that you are a child of God by what you're doing. Not by what I'm saying, but by, 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 by what I'm doing. Right. So everybody doing the same thing is a power. Amen. This is the purpose. Of the law, we're under grace. I'm just, I'm just giving some context, Amen. right? Yes, yes. Give us some context on the law, because we get kind of fuzzy on the law. Yes. And I'm careful about how we talk about the law. Mm -hmm. The Bible said the law is spiritual. The law is holy. The law is good. Mm -hmm. We get confused. We don't understand the purpose for it. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Amen. Right. All right. Amen. So uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. So Yeshua said, this is my commandment, verse 12, that ye do what to one another? Love. Love one another. Right? Love has an order. Love is not confusion. Love has an order. Right? Yes. I can't say I love you, but then I'm still doing bad things to you, you know, just just disrespecting and all kinds of stuff. But I love you. That That's a mixed message. Amen. That's a mixed message. Amen. Love, love, love has an order, too. Yes. Yes. 
So he said, love, he said to love one another as I have what? Love you. Loved you. Verse 13, Jesus Yeshua said, no man has any greater love than a man that does what? Lay down his life. Lay down his life. For who? For his friends. For his friends. Verse 14, Jesus Yeshua said to his disciples, his disciples, you are my friends if you do what? Whatever I command you. You do what? Commandments. You feel good? Keep my commandments. He said, you are my friends if you do whatever I command you. Keep my commandments. Verse 15, he said, hence more I call you no more what? Servants. Servants. For the servant don't know what his Lord, Lord, Lord is doing, right? Mm -hmm. What his Lord is doing. He said, but I have called you my friends. friends. <laughs> he said, for I have made known unto you what? All things. All things that I have heard of who? My father. My father. Yeshua said to his disciples, I've made known these things to you. <coughs> I'm calling you my friend. Yes. Verse 16. And he, he explains who chose who, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, you've not done what? Not chosen me. You've not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And then what? Ordained. Ordained. I didn't just choose you, but I ordained you. I called you. You got a purpose. Yeah. You can't get around that. Mm. The best thing you can do is accept your call. Mm -hmm. Say yes and just accept who you are. Yeah. Just say yes. Yeah. That is the best. That's how you can get out. That's how you can deal with what you're going through. Is just accept who you are. Amen. Just say yes, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh Amen. <laughs> That's how you can go through. Just God, I thank you for doing for what you're doing by your spirit yes. in my life. He said, I you've not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Yes. That you should do what? Bring go forth. Go and do what? Bring forth, Bring forth fruit. fruit. Bring forth fruit. And what's going to happen to your fruit? Need to remain. You remain. <laughs> you said, <"Me> yes. <laughs> Amen. And, your, and that your fruit <coughs> should remain. Amen. That whatsoever you ask in my Father, in whose name? In my name. In my name what will happen? It may give it to you. It may give it to you. Yes. He said, these things I ask you. No. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. That you do what? Love. Love, love, love one another. Dad and my God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Father God, we thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our lives. Father, we thank you for the true vine. We thank you for the grace to love one another. We thank you for the grace to stay in the vine, to stay in you, God. We thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our lives. Father, we're constantly praying for the sick and the shut in. We thank you for what you're doing in the bodies of your people. Thank you, Father, that your healing virtue is going through the body. By Jesus, yes. Yeshua, stripes we are healed. Yes. Yes. Thank you for what you're doing, Father. We thank you for the words coming forth. We thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our lives, Father. We thank you forever. Yes. Thank in you. Yeshua's name, amen. <laughs>